Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to Cisco CCNA BGP Lab. BGP stands for Border Gateway Protocol, that is the Internet Routing Protocol. That means if any service provider or internet service provider want to talk to another internet service provider, they use BGP. So BGP can be called as a routing protocols of internet. For example, in, in the diagram, you are seeing router 1 and router 2. Router 1 belong to AS number 111 and router 2 belong to AS number 222. So there are two different, you are seeing in two different AS numbers. So we are going to enable very basic, we are going to enable very basic uh, BGP. So we are going to enable some type of BGP. The BGP is between two different AS number. So it is called eBGP. If you want to run BGP inside, it is called IBGP. So IBGP stand for interior border, border gateway protocol and eBGP stand for exterior border gateway protocols. Here, I'm going to use neighbor command to establish neighbor. So unlike unlike other routing protocol, you 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 make neighbors in BGP by using neighbor command. If I want optionally, I can add network command to advertise the neighbor. So it's kind of a little bit different. So for CCNA, what we are going to look is how to establish the neighbor and how to advertise the network. Again, BGP is a very complex protocol. You'll be studying BGP in your advanced and expert routing and switching courses. So let's go and just configure very basic BGP and get the family with the BGP. So let's go through the conditions guys. Conditions wise is very easy. Configure BGP AS number 111 and 222 as per the diagram. EB, establish EBGP pairing between R1 and R2. Only advertise the loopback. So we are I'm not going to advertise the link, I'm going to advertise the loopback. We are going to make sure BGP sub neighbor is valid. So just see what I'm doing, just very carefully, just understand all the configuration complexities. So we are not going to make it as a very complex configuration, it's going to be very easy configuration. So I'm on router one, and also I'm on router two. So this video will be a very quick video. Enable, show IP interface brief, exclude and assign. I want to make sure I have the loopbacks. Yes, I have both the loopbacks. So this loopback is 10.11.11.33 slash 27. You should know what's a network. So again, very important. Your CCNA submitting skills are very important. So slash 27 mean 255.255.255.224. Here slash 28, that is 255.255.255.240. This is block of 16. So network ID become 16. Here block of 32, so 27 is 224, so the block of 32, the network ID is 32. So let's see how to configure R1 first. Let's go and configure BGP. So the way you configure BGP, you type router BGP. I'm going to type my local autonomous system number because router 1 belongs to AS number 111. So router BGP, local autonomous system number. Then I'm going to type neighbor 10.12.12.12. .12 .12 to remote AS so so I'm saying neighbor belong to AS number 222 so the meaning is nothing but my AS number is 111 so that's my local AS number and also it tells the neighbor AS number so let's just go uh, then in addition to that I'm going to advertise two networks so the way you advertise networks in BGP guys please just watch very carefully Network, network ID, so 10.1.1.0. Then you must type a keyword mask, then type the subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. Now again, other loopback, other loopback is very important. Network 10.11.11.32. So remember, it is IP address is 33 slash 27, but the network is 32. Mask 255.255.255.224. If you type this one by a mistake, the route will not be advertised to the other router. So you have to make sure you do properly. So let's check the configuration, show run section BGP. So again, very simple. We have a router BGP, my local autonomous system number. Then I type the neighbor, neighbor IP address, remote AS keyword. And remember network command is not necessary to become neighbor. You need only neighbor command to establish neighbor. Let's configure R2. 
in, instead of typing network command i will use only neighbor command then we'll type the network command okay so enable config t in this case router bgp the r2 in part of bgp is number 222 i'm going to put neighbor 10.12.12.1 remote as r1 belong to 111 so again if this if this number and this number is different that mean i am doing ebgp pairing if the number is same just see guys the neighbor is up so again very important they will they will check what what are the what are the command to see the neighbor is up so easy way to, easy way to see is show ip bgp summary when i type show ip bgp summary at the end you must see a number or zero so zero or a number zero mean i have a neighbor but there is no routes two mean i have a neighbor but i'm receiving two routes so if i want to see what routes i am receiving i can type show ip bgp again guys for ccna is beyond the scope as long as you understand how to check the neighbor and what command to configure that should be enough just see i'm receiving 10.11.11.32/27 and 10.1.1.0/24 again ccna you don't have to know too much the star mean valid route greater than side is a best route so that mean these routes are valid route as well as best route for the purpose of bgp so let's go to r1 r1 is not receiving any neighbor if i type show ip bgp summary that's the way to see the bgp neighbor so it tells me at the end i'm seeing zero see so zero mean the neighbor is good but i'm not receiving any route the reason i'm not advertising let's go and advertise on r2 so let's go back to again router bgp 222 network loopback is very easy 2.2.0 mask unlike ospf and eigrp if you type wrong network and wrong marks nothing will work network 10.22.22.16 as i said you have to know the subnet mask then mask 255.255.255.240 if everything is good on r1 i should see the routes so i had done some mistakes so i had to go and see what mistakes i have done i'll go to r2 now okay so this is block of yeah 10.22. so let's see whether the loopbacks are configured properly show run interface loopback 1 10 22 22 22 that's right show run interface loopback 0 10 22 let's look at the bgp advertisement so be, before that maybe i'll give some time so everything is good so i'm i got the two routes so i was thinking so let's look at the so everything good guys so for example from r1 i should be able to ping 10.2.2.2 source loop back 0 and source loop back 1 and also i will i will type ping 10.22.22.22.22 source loop back 0 i type extra 22 and also source loop back 1 so guys bgp is working so you guys are good for your advanced bgp studies quickly go over the configs one more time show run begin router bgp and also on the other route also show run begin router bgp okay so let's look at r1 router bgp my local autonomous system neighbor neighbor's ip address and neighbor belong to this as number i'm advertising two two networks two loopbacks so the command is network network id keyword mask subnet mask r2 again router bgp it belong to 222 neighbor is 121221 remote as 111 there are two network commands and to be to see the summary we type show ip bgp summary and also what i do sometimes i type begin any i so that way you can get a very short output instead of getting lots of things so neighbor address version 4 and i'm i'm receiving two routes the way to check is at the end you must see number 2 or 0 or more 
and i'm going to show you one command but we are not going to don't we are not going to work on that command show ip bgp neighbor nobody uses show ip bgp neighbor because it's going to give a big output it tells you lots of things it tells me is an external link and it tells bgp state is established so bgp has to be established state and ospf has to be full state but for you for ccna candidate my strong advice is only use this command show ip bgp summary to verify the bgp is up again guys i think we have a brief introduction to ccna and bgp so bgp is just introduction the advanced bgp will be taught on your advanced routing and expert routing classes again guys thanks for watching my video if you want to go for any advanced routing or switching or expert routing switching you can always contact www.sysnet.ca and for your any other certifications please reach out to sysnet.ca again guys thanks for watching my video i will see you guys soon in another video